Okay guys, I want to show you what's going on here. This is the clip point. It's the sidewalk. All I did was make sure it was the cut was complete across here. It was already cut. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to lower this jack down. I'm going to show you the jack and how simple this is. All I did was dig, and dig out from the other side to get this jack below it. This jack is nothing but a um, trailer jack. And watch when I lower it. That's the, that's the beginning point. That's the beginning point, the clip point. Let me pull the, the uh, car jack out, I mean the uh, trailer jack out, so you guys can see what it looks like. It's just a trailer jack. Dug down, this is a little something I welded on for something else, now it, it bent, but no harm, no harm, no foul. You can uh, reinforce this how you can with some welds. Uh, now, just slide it under and crank it up. A bit of an angle here, but let's go ahead and watch it. That's it. Look at that, look at that, look at that thing go. Now, I don't have a clip point anymore. No more clip point. Simple as that. That's the car jack. Just to dig a little hole, a little trench. It's got a little foot on the base of it. And crank her up. Again, the trick here is to... Let me back this camera up first. Let me do this for you guys. The trick is to... Finger, crown, tripod is to make sure you can get a full that you cut through this first so you you break it and in this case since it was already low it apparently has already fully broke through right because it's already past each bypassing each other but nevertheless i still put the saw cut on it i had a longer video with the saw cutting and all that but well what's the point of that let's just jump to the chase and show you what's going on here um what else can i say why do this over plate replacing concrete not not that it's faster because this is going to take some maintenance possibly. You're going to put some cement under there. Something to, to pretty much pack it in. Basically giving it a footer around the, a footer around the edge. Uh, this is also weak now. Weaker in tension than say this piece, piece over here. Because this piece over here has got a solid base on it. This does not have a solid base any longer. It's got, it has voids under here. So that's going to, you don't, do not run a car on top of it, but human traffic, it's not going to crack under human traffic. So you, the walkway is still very uh, pleasant. Now why do it? Well, this is an exposed aggregate over time. It's got quite some years on it. And if I were to replace the concrete, it would just look like new concrete. Whereas if I do this, now I've, I don't have to worry about looking like a patch. It looks like the existing concrete. Well, because it is. It goes over to a stone step. That's the dust that I created when I cut these pieces apart to, uh, to do this elevation of the one corner. I just continued the saw cut down the middle. Um, and there's the other side of it. Of course, I had, if you were jacking that up, make sure you got, that you do have some, you know, that's gonna, it's gonna tilt. So make sure that's not an issue that you're gonna create a, a, a tension point in the concrete and cause cracks. If you need be, you can cut a relief cut here decoratively if you want um, you can even I know I'm looking at this close for you guys you can even cut this in half lift the whole piece out do a mortar bed or set, set a mortar bed in there and then lay this back down on top of it keep in mind that the concrete weighs 150 pounds per cubic foot rough a take give or take a half an ounce um, and if you guys know I like joking so don't don't hold me to the half an ounce um, so that would be two, uh, one foot by uh, six foot. Is that right? Three, one, two, one, two, three, three, six, nine feet. Um, one by nine feet. Uh, three, three layers, four inch. So it would be uh, three layers of the four inch. This is approximately, this is thicker than four inches. So I would get three layers of the uh, one foot. So it's actually one by three, gives me my cubic feet of 150 pounds. So over here, I think I'm doing the math ahead of time. I had to cut myself off or messing up my video for you guys. So three foot by one by one foot this direction gives me 150 square feet. That's approximately three foot right here. So you can imagine if I go over two foot, two feet, I've got a 300 foot piece to deal with here, at least at four inches. Um, so you're going to make this, have to make this manageable for yourself. You can get real decorative. You can get real kind of cute about it. Um, 
but you now get to keep your concrete or just do with this do this way do this dig, dig under there put a footer under here and put the concrete under there and then uh, make sure you point it up real tight to the underside of this to act like that ledge if you will um, you really need to uh, to take care of that if, you, if you're going to do this technique so I addressed it over here also this has already been addressed by luck by luck by luck when I tilt when I lift the other side up the reaction was over here of that one so that's kind of cool the uh, cover for the I cleaned up the uh, cutter so hopefully this is helpful that's the end of this video end of the video for you guys it's gonna be cool to watch this set settle overnight I'm gonna leave that there and see how much it settles but right now we're about we're about even just give another fun little look at that let's lower it I know we're looking at it upside down. Let's see if I can do that for you. And going back the other way. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Simple as that. Alright guys. Oh. Some of the stuff that could go down there. I thought I might need underneath the foot. But. Don't need it. The uh. It, it compressed pretty well. Take care.